welcome back to Nessa Boo's life. So we are still in quarantine and it is now day like, I don't even know what day it is. A thousand. A thousand. Um, so I'm currently in my second week of my grad school program. And I'm going to grad school to become an elementary school teacher and also get my master's degree in education. And it's, let me just tell you, Zoom classes are very different than in person. I miss being able to turn to my partner and be like, hey, did he get number five? Or like, just interact with other people. Like, you can still do that through Zoom, but it's a little bit more difficult. The same thing with like lectures. It's like very, very heavily reading, opposed to sitting in the classroom and listening to your professor talk about the lecture and then the benefits of like other students in the class asking questions that you didn't even think of like you, you don't we don't really have that so um my well not my cohort but like everyone in my program pretty much we created a group meet and that's how we've been staying in contact making sure we're all like on track like hey guys don't forget this is due tomorrow or does anybody know where I can get this book for free whatever <sighs> so it's been a lot of help but it's been also very stressful um this is barely week two and week one caught me by surprise like I knew it was gonna be hard but like it was a lot to adjust to and then um since a lot of the beauty salons are still not open I decided to order a poly gel kit and it came today and I did my nails <laughs> and my niece's nails. They, I mean, this is first attempt, so they don't look great, but it's fine. It's just for myself. But yeah, I'm really enjoying being in the graduate school, graduate school program courses right now. We're learning a lot about speech therapy, a lot about, um, and what is it called? Intellectual disabilities. And I'm learning a lot about like autism and a lot of other disabilities that I had no idea um, were as severe as they are. So as an educator, I have to be ready to be able to help my students the best that I can. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing right now. Um, I'm currently looking for a topic for my research paper and some references. But yeah, just checking in. Um, what's new? I don't know. I got a haircut. Mm -hmm. I feel like a newbie. I got new glasses. You're right. I got new glasses. It's a pretty cute color. Um, what else? We found a bird, an injured bird outside of our house, and we named it Kiwi. We've been ta we've been taking care of it here and there. Um, what else? Mm -hmm. Oh, my niece's birthday is coming up next month, and we're probably going to have her a little get-together. I went over classes. We currently just finished this book called A Child Called Noah by Josh Greenfield. It's pretty much about a father growing up in the, I want to say the 60s, 70s, with a child that has autism um, back in the day. Autism was not that, they didn't have much information about it, so it was kind of hard to pinpoint what autism was. They also didn't really have enough treatments at that time, like their solution for handling students with disabilities was to institutionalize them, which a lot of them were abused, neglected, and it was just not the best option. But that's what was being done back then. In this book, like, the dad kind of journals every day how his son gets better, and then he kind of falls back. And it takes you to a roller coaster of emotions from the parent's perspective of what it is to live with the child who has autism and the different methods that they try to use to help him. But yeah, it's a pretty good book. You guys should check it out. It's called A Child Called Noah. If you want more information about it, there's also, um, what is it called? Those 60 seconds, 60 minute 
documentary things about the author that it was like no all grown up what they ended up doing with him and pretty much how he grew up <sighs> it's been a long week it's tuesday but i'm also i'm very thankful like for my health and for family and for even having the opportunity to be part of this program so if any of you are trying to become teachers hit me up I'll hit you up with some links that I used to take my C-sets and I thankfully passed them all so <laughs> hopefully in a year from now I'll be hired at a district and I'll be prepping for my very own classroom but yeah I just thought I would check in I'll update you guys more along my journey of grad school. Bye!